What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy from Only in Basil World. Child, you know my life's not perfect and neither is this hair. I don't think I like it too much. I don't know. I'm not. I, I don't know. That I don't know. Okay? I'm not sure if I'm liking his hair. <laughs> I did the vlog on the hair. I don't know, child. Anyway, I know I did a mukbang and I talked a little bit about um how I got in trouble at work, child. Yes. But I want and I know I said I'm gonna do my classroom, um, my educational channel. But school and kids, I really have been whipping my butt. I've just been out of it, been the kind of like a funk, really. So I, I really haven't done much. It's like I vlog and then I'm just so exhausted. I need to get my health, child. I need to get my butt back to running. But anyway, um, I got some new stuff in the classroom. I know I'm not going to be talking about my classroom. <laughs> I got some new stuff in the classroom. Let me show y'all real quick before I tell y'all I got in trouble. So I. No, did I show y'all this? My little sofas. I took them away because the kids were acting up. Then I brought them back out today. And then we got some new seats. Aren't these cool? Ooh, excuse me. Isn't that cool? So I got six of those seats. They're so cool. And then Clinton, I brought this from the house. This gaming chair. So the kids like sitting in that as well. So... So I brought out a few little new, a few more gizmos. My letters fell down up there, R-E-A. <laughs> so I have to put those back. And um, then I put these, these are my stand-up desks. They go up and they go down. So I, I put them down because the kids were playing too much on the wobble board. My bike, the foot to my bike came off so I have to get that repaired. So it, it's in my car. So, child, it's just been rough with Bobby, basketball, Sydney. She does a ton of volunteer stuff. It's just a lot. I'm dealing with the kids, and as the kids start to get a little more comfortable at school, you know, things change a little. They're not so shy. <laughs> but they're still really sweet. And, um, so, boop. Child, let me tell y'all. I hope y'all are doing okay. I miss y'all. I hope y'all doing fine. My nerves been bad, y'all. So anyway, I've been putting in a lot of hours. And another thing that I never mention to anyone, and I don't talk about it, is that um, I'm, you know, so I do the administrative stuff for the school too. So that's like, you know, a little extra work. <laughs> and so I do stuff like that as well as the teaching aspect of it so when the principal because the principal is not always on campus Miss Sanders and Miss Kennedy they're not always on campus so I'm like the go-to between so if something happens they go through me then I go through them so I'm like the conduit between the principal and the school when they are not on campus so Anyway, so I do that stuff too. So when um, there's extra work, so there's more work that I have to do uh, than teaching, lesson plan. <laughs> anyway, there's more stuff to do. So sometimes a sister stays late to get it all done, okay? And sometimes that's a challenge because once I go home, baby, you know my kids. That, woo, boop, 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 boop. So anyway, so sometimes I stay late. And I'll stay late. Sometimes I come on weekends. And sometimes it's the time for me to, my brain needs to unravel. And I need the peace and quiet. And I don't mind putting in 13, 14 hours a day. I, I don't mind and don't get paid for overtime. Okay? Child, I got in trouble for staying late at work, for working for the kids, for doing it for the kids, for doing it for the job, not a party. I don't even stay late at a party because I need to go to sleep. I be tired. So anyway, 
they came. They said, no, you're not allowed to stay past, I think, 5 o'clock. No weekends, no nothing. I'm like, I was in my feelings. I'm like, but I'm doing it for these babies. You know, I'm trying to get all my work done. I'm trying to get it in. So when I get home, I can just relax. So I was in my feelings for a little while. So now, when three o'clock comes, I'm clocking out where everybody else shall. So I just clock out. I do the best I can with what I have. Um, but I don't stay late. And it is almost three o'clock now so i am shutting down and i'm about to clock out with everyone else so anti why um so oh well their rationale was what they said for safety reasons but i always keep my door locked i'm very cautious when i leave i mean safety reasons can be me going to the cell at walmart late at night Anyway, it is what it is. I mean, for safety reasons, for whatever other kind of reason, I was in my feelings. So, so now I don't stay late. And I don't know. So now it is five minutes after three. I am late, child. I need to get out of here. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. And you know, it just makes me feel like you're doing so much. And, or you're doing something and it's supposed to be meant to be good, but you get in trouble or scolded for it. No, you can't do that. You can't, you know, work hard. You cannot work hard. You cannot work late. You cannot stay late. You cannot do that because we said so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all good, <laughs> you know, so. But the kids, they're still good. Some days are challenging and some days are you know, smooth and easy going. I mean, but that's life. Cause you know my life's not perfect. Maybe yours is, but my sure isn't. This hair, y'all, I don't know if I'm feel, mm -mm. I don't know if I'm liking this. I think it's time for a new do. Well, this is a new do. I think another do do. <laughs> you know what else is funny about my students? So the kids eat lunch. They eat their lunch inside the classroom. So I usually have middle school girls on Wednesdays and I think Wednesdays and Fridays or Wednesdays I don't know so they'll eat lunch in my classroom so their lunch is an hour and sometimes the teachers will put on a movie you know cartoon or whatever while they're eating lunch because it kind of controls you know all, all the chatter a little bit because you know they have something distracted them because when you have idle kids trust me you have lots of crazy conversation. Yes, girls, crazy conversation, okay? So in my class, I'd be like, okay, you want me to put on a movie, you know, whatever. They were like, no, Miss Basil, we want to watch you. Let's, let's watch your mukbangs. <laughs> so they like watching the kids and I eat. And then they was like, you going to bring us some shrimp, miss? And I'm like, no, don't y'all want to watch a movie? You want to watch me? And then all the kids are, yeah, we want to watch you. Miss Bass, we want to watch you. <laughs> so I just had to share that because I, I, I just think it's so sweet that they get a kick out of watching me. I'm like, am I really that interesting? And they really, really like watching the food stuff. So I think that is just the sweetest. So today, I don't know when I'll get this uploaded. We watched... Um, they were running a little late today with their lunch, so we watched several of the um, of my vlogs, and I said, okay, you guys can watch my most hated vlog ever. So they watched me drug testing Clinton, and they was like, Miss Basil, why would people hate this? Because it makes sense that you would wanna know what's going on with your child. What is there to hate about this? I said, I don't know. I feel the same exact way. They was like, I wish my mom did stuff like that, you know. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. And so, you know, so we had a great conversation about, you know, drugs and how they can affect you, affect your family members, and so on and so forth. So it became a learning moment as well, um, watching the blog. And I have tons of educational blogs.
dogs. So we watch those as well if I'm teaching a lesson and we'll watch, I'll throw in one of those to, you know, reinforce what I'm teaching. So I just thought it was cute in that you can take any experience because I try to keep my vlogs um, um, good for all ages. <laughs> And um, so it's it's a learning moment for those kids too. And then he was like, I wish you were my mom as Basil. You're so fun and blah, blah, blah. So they just make my heart smile and shine. So, you know, so I was in my feelings like, oh, no, you can't stay late. Don't stay after this hour. But I'm like, but it's for the kids. You know, it's not like it's for me. I got my own kids at home. They're into their own stuff anyway. So I'm just like, okay, whatever you say. So awesome. I was in my feelings for a little while, especially when you know when you're trying to do something good and you're trying to be on it. So now I do the best I can with what I have and keep it moving. So with this set for real, for real this time, I am going for real, for real. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, um, and all that good stuff, okay? And, um, I like to also say that it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice and have a good heart. And sometimes I try to reiterate that to some of my students because with some of their background and, you know, just always try to find that kindness within your heart to show that to other people. It doesn't cost a thing. All right, stay blessed.